Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything's state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Glad to see you're doing so well, Scott. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really gonna be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. The Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... 
So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah? Was it too much? Some people get intimidated. We need that sort of drive. I just hope I can keep up. You'll keep up. And I promise I won't tell if you don't. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later? Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. You raised your sister by yourself? That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. We're a team. I'll make sure you're always there for Sid. Thank you, Ryder. That means a lot to me. At least Sid's older now. Maybe I don't have to worry as much. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? Hey, Ryder. Got an encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally! I've been waiting for hours! So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. What do you mean they're missing? They didn't leave voluntarily. No work assignments, no mining expeditions, kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. I trust your sister, and there's no sense in wasting time. See? That's a Pathfinder. Sid, just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I want to help. <sighs> you know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. Looks like no one's home. I swear, if Sid sent us on a pointless search, I'm going to drill her shin plates. Move! Go! What the hell was that? Did I land on you? Sorry. So good to finally meet you. And you brought friends. That's even the Pathfinder, if I'm not mistaken. My bait worked better than expected. The missing settlers. Who are you? Why are you kidnapping innocents? Innocents? <sighs> They're criminals. You helped them get away from me. You think I'm gonna let that go? Get comfortable. You'll be here a while. Case of mistaken identity? 
I'm just as lost as you are. It's okay, Vetra. You don't have to cover for us. That was Meriwether. She runs a smuggling ring on Kadara. We worked for her. Vetra helped us get out of it. New lives, hiding in the outposts. So you're helping people. There was no need for all that modesty. It's not modesty. I didn't help anyone. Okay, okay. You didn't help anyone. I'm getting out of here. We've tried. There's no way out. There's always a way out. Is everyone okay? Sidera Nix, you've been pretending to be me, haven't you? Uh, how did you... Think I don't recognize my own tricks? And stop using my voice. Sorry. It was just easier to get things done when people thought I was you. You know, because you have contacts and stuff. Sid. So you didn't help us, just like you said. It was... Yeah, my kid's sister. Give your sister some credit, Vetra. This wasn't exactly easy to pull off. Ryder, don't encourage her. Sid, I know you're in the facility somewhere. Get back in your shuttle and return to the Nexus. But I can help you get everyone out of here. You hacked a door without checking for safeguards. That's help we don't need. So walk me through it. I got eyes on the base. Ryder? If she can tell us what we're up against, that'll be a big help. See? Fine. But she has to follow my instructions. Can you do that, Sid? Yes, Vetra. We'll stay put and follow you when it's safe. Don't want to get caught in the crossfire. The sooner we get going, the better. Sid will alert us if anything's headed our way. Sid, what do we have coming up? Sid? Uh, looks like... Sid? I think... I think someone found my shuttle. I can hear. I think I gotta... Oh no! Sid! Sid, come in! They found her! They're gonna kill her! Why'd you have to go be the hero, Sid? Stupid. So, so stupid. Sid's leverage. They won't kill her just yet. We just have to be quick. You're right. I think I can trace Sid's signal. Should take us to her. No time to waste, but we have to be careful. They have my sister. Think carefully about your next move, Pathfinder. That explodes, it takes you out too. You won't let that happen. Vetra. It's going to be okay. We're gonna get you out of this. Come on. That's a kid you got there. She's not a threat, let her go. She hacked my security. And she's as tall as you are. Guns on the ground. Are you all right? Are you hurt? I... I think I'm okay. Help's on the way. We're all good, thanks to you. <sighs> I didn't mean for any of this. I'm sorry, okay? You can't just mess around with people from Kadara. They're dangerous. I just... These guys wanted to start over, not be exiles anymore. No one else was giving them a chance, so I thought, I can do that. I can help. These are good people who made bad choices. Your sister did the right thing. She still should have talked to me. I don't want you hurt. There are ugly sides to what I do, and you shouldn't have to deal with them. You started out when you were my age, and you managed okay? That wasn't by choice. You saw what we did here. This isn't all fun and games, Sid. Yeah, I was shocked at first, but I understand now, and I can handle it. I don't want you to have to. Whatever. I'm going back to the Nexus, like you wanted. That was intense. Are you alright? Fine. I just need some time to think. 
Hey, at least the settlers are safe. Thanks for helping me out with this rider. Can we just get moving now? Damn it, Sid. What's going on? I get influence with power players, only to have it squandered by a sister calling in favors under my name. Do you know she got the genome for... Oh, what is it? Cats. Pulled from storage. One, there's no place to grow anything right now. Two, it seems they aren't even a food. So why? Lots of people love cats. They make them happy. I don't think we're in a position to put amusement over necessities. She just doesn't think. Tries to help everyone, damn the consequences. And she thinks what we do is so exciting, but doesn't really understand what it takes. Because what we do is exciting. We make people's lives better. You make it sound so wonderful. We see some real shit. But we don't quit. Because what we do matters. It does, doesn't it? Even on the worst days, knowing we make a difference. To make a difference is probably all Sid wants. But what if she gets herself into another mess? What if she gets hurt? She'll have you to watch her back. I hate it when you're right. She's going to go her own way, no matter what I do. If she does it without my help, she'll run into even worse trouble. Thanks for helping me with this. I swear, my sister isn't going to drag us into an ambush again. Good that you're here, Ryder. I found something while monitoring comms for the Nexus. Multiple attacks by people called the Three Sabers. They're hitting outposts and supply vessels. The really weird part is they seem aware of our operations, like they're getting intel. What are you saying? That someone's feeding them info? Maybe. It would be really bad if that were true, right? I've reported it, and they say they'll investigate, but then forget. But you're the Pathfinder. If someone's betraying the Nexus, you have to do something about it. If they seem to know our operations, that could spell trouble. Best to get to the bottom of it. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. Best Pathfinder ever. I don't know where they hide, but I got the nav points for their most recent raids. Maybe the Tempest Scanners can figure out where they went. Is your name Yale? Yeah, that's me. Stanton Yale. What can I do for the Pathfinder today? Tell me about the Three Sabers. Oh, shit. Well, that reaction tells me all I need to know. Look, I just didn't think anyone would find out about it, okay? It's something that ought to be left alone. We made a mistake. Explain. The new outposts, our supply routes, they needed protection. We couldn't rely on just you. I proposed that we'd save Nexus blood by hiring exiles to fight for us. It could have worked. Mercenaries and privateers have existed throughout history. That was the hope. Cochrane and I served together. I thought I could trust him and the crew. I became their commander, I armed them, I shared access to Pedromo's operations. And then they took their new toys and went rogue. Attacked people they were supposed to protect. I've dealt with the Three Sabers. They won't be a problem. Damn. They're... gone, then. Shit. Cochrane. He was a good man. Once, Addison will be pleased at least. One loose end tied up. Addison knew. She wasn't sure Ryder would work out as Pathfinder. She was desperate for options. It doesn't even matter anymore. The three sabers are gone. Just let this blow over. I have to get back to work. We've got an outpost to run here. I know why you're here. Yale told me to expect a visit. I hoped this blunder wouldn't come to light, but Helios has a habit of dashing our hopes. Have the Three Sabers been eliminated, Pathfinder? Their deaths don't make this okay. I realize that, Ryder. A poor decision was made. People paid for it, but it's over. As far as everyone's concerned, the Three Sabers acted on their own. But they didn't, did they? Hey, Ryder. Who the hell's this? Uh, this is Vetra's sister, Sid. Oh. You. I noticed you tried to get someone to look into the Three Sabers. So I was right, wasn't I? 
Someone on the Nexus was helping the Three Sabres. Yes, it was a mistake. We authorized a course of action that cost lives, but, like I said, it's over. You have to tell people. If we made a mistake, we have to own it, right? Who does that serve? It could damage relations with the Angara, spark another uprising. It would be lying. Ryder, if you hide this, what else will you let them hide? We're not taking tips on diplomacy from a teenager. With all due respect, Director, Sid's right. Transparency is important for building trust. People need to know they can trust us, even when we screw up. I'll make sure people hear about this. Pathfinder, you're making a mistake. Maybe. But at least I'm willing to acknowledge it. You realize that even if I do find it, it's gonna cost you. And you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. I'm hearing the Ket activity's down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. That means he can be beaten. The Ket can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Didn't sound like you were discussing Ket over comms when I walked in, though. Wasn't. I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One brought from home, but stolen in the revolt. I didn't think you were so sentimental. I'm not the only one. Suvi has her father's antique instruments, Cora her Asari prayer book, and Liam has the junk that Liam collects. These things are important. They remind us where we came from. I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future, yes. So what's so special about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt naked Asari for the stand and she's holding a moon. One of your prized possessions is a really ugly lamp? The foreman at my first job had this lamp. When he was mean, I'd focus on it so he wouldn't see me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. Most of my life was doing stuff to survive, taking shit from assholes, or being one. I don't have to do that anymore. I can start over. Something honest. Honest work? Vetra, you'd be an awful farmer. Yeah, you don't know that. Point is, I could be anything. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. Everything was a mess in it. Just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. It's nice seeing you like this. I know. I like being able to let go and do something for myself for once. Let's hope this is just the start, huh? You were right. The view is great from up here. We're not even to the top yet. Come on, I'll race you. A race? Up this cliff? Less talk, more climb. Let's go, Pathfinder. And no jump jets. No one likes a cheat. All right, that's it. I'm gonna show you how it's done. You can try. Pride goeth before a fall. Having fun? <sighs> Told you I'd show you. Oh, I am well and truly shown. Wow. It's all going to be like this, huh? No. Better. For 14 months, I wondered if I'd made a mistake coming here and dragging my sister with me. I don't wonder anymore. Boarding the Tempest that day was the 
best decision I ever made. It's been a wild ride, huh? Wouldn't exchange it for any other. So, Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day, Pathfinder of the Century. You know, the usual. Still? Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die. And probably even before. So we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up, leaving home, doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Seeing you two in cahoots <laughs> makes me all misty. You know this is your fault, right? Helping us along? Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready.